What's up everybody, this is Maxim and today I'm going to be giving you guys my skin tones which you guys have been asking for a very very long time and you guys should know that this is the first set of my skin tone. Others is going, others is going to be coming out later on after I finally make up those skin tones. So when you check the link in the description, you are going to get, it, you are going to go, it's going to take you to the place where you are going to download the skin tone and don't get scared because you see it's patreon and so on it's free for all users you can download it for free but i would still really appreciate you guys if you just take out your time and just you know give a little bit of contribution or just become a patron so when you download the file this is where you're going to get color swatches the zip file so just right click and hit on extract color swatches because i don't want to keep everything messy on my desktop because when you open it you see that it's just like this so i'm going to directly right, right click and hit on extract color swatches and boom this is what i'm going to get so you can go ahead and delete that shift delete so that you're just going to take it away from the recycle bin so you just double click on the color swatches and this is all what you are going to get so i'm going to give you two ways of installing this skin tone so if you already have photoshop open just like me so i'm going to quickly create a new document right here just click on that and i'm just going to go write any document which is just 2000 by 2000 i'm just going to keep it that way so if you've already opened up photoshop just like me this is what you are going to do and just wait we're going to get to that but if you've not opened up photoshop and this is how you're going to do it so open up this pc your local digs and then program files Adobe and the current version of Photoshop you are making use of. I already have it in 2020, so I'm going to be using it in 2019. And recently, I just switched back to 2019 because I, I found some kind of issues with 2020, but not really an issue, it's just for me. <clears throat> so it's no fault from Adobe, but just for me, just based on what I really want, that is just it. So I'm going to open up and I'm going, I will go into presets and kill your what color swatches. So what you're going to do, just drag everything, you're going to right click, copy, and then I'm just going to paste everything inside of here. Click on do this for all current item and hit on continue. So you're going to get all these skin tone right here, which is one, two, three, four, and the last one should be here, which is five. Okay. <clears throat> So once you, once you've done with all those stuff, now you can close up and close it up and open Photoshop. Now when you open Photoshop, if you can't find your swatches library, you go up to Windows and then swatches. Then you're gonna get your swatches right. Yeah. Then when you click on this menu icon, you're gonna get the skin tones among here. So if you just make use of this method and your Photoshop is open, all you just have to do close up, close Photoshop and open up Photoshop again. And you're gonna get it in all these parts so if you already open photoshop like me and you just don't want to close it okay that's pretty cool so what you're going to do i'm just going to expand this a little bit and put it at this part so just click on that menu when you click on the menu you just look for the icon that say the load swatches and when you click on that it's going to open up now locate the places where you have the swatches so i have mine desktop color swatches so this is so you can just pick one, you can't pick everything at one, you just have to pick only one at a time. So I'm just going to go for the black skin tone first. You can double click on that, you can just click it once and hit on load and you're going to get it right here. Now if you just really want to concentrate on only the skin tone, so what you're going to do, just click on that part and hit on replace swatches. Then just double click on any one and you're going to get only the swatches right here. So now when you grab a new brush tool, of your choice so you can just click quickly grab anything and just start painting right here so now you can see it. let me just grab a hard remember so this is what the dark the mid tones um what, I'm, what am i going to call this one highlights or and then this is yours the lights so that's just it now you can just repeat the same process for everything so now since you have the first one right here what you're going to do you can just go ahead and then load swatches again and load the second one now if you're making use of photoshop 20 it's going to put everything in a group 
I actually have all this stuff in a group because this skin tones was created in Photoshop 20. So it's going to put the first set in a group, the second set in a group, and the third set, see, you get the whole five set. Everything is really going to be in a group. So I'm going to advise you if you are making use of 19 and below, what you're going to do, you just go, you just need to find the particular skin tone you'll be using at that moment. And when you get the skin tone you'll be using at that moment, you can just click on that and hit on replace swatches and just um, create on the swatches. Just click on the swatches, it's going to replace everything. Now, if you want to <coughs> go back to the default swatches, all you have to do is just go back and hit on reset swatches and it's going to bring back every swatches for you so that is how you are going to download and install my skin tune and i hope you guys make use of this skin tune very well and i would love to see what you've done with this skin tune after you download and after you make use of it so without anything else and remember if you've not subscribed make sure to hit the subscribe button and not just the subscribe button ring the bell icon so that you don't miss any new tips and tricks i'll be posting every week and if you want to talk to me directly you can get the link to my facebook page or my instagram page where you can talk to me if you have any questions you can leave your questions or any other thing else but for now i'm just going to say bye and happy using